Hey YouTubers, Jason here. Got a little bit of a model railroad update for you on Monday, May 2nd. So I got a little bit of a mess going on in here now. I'm um, getting pretty busy. Uh, layout operations of the club just wound, wound down last weekend, so I'm gonna hopefully have some more time to work on this layout on my weekends around uh, my gym schedule and my kids' sports schedule pretty much every night of the week and on the weekend. But uh, anyways, what I got going on here is got some cookie cutter stuff done. You can see we've got an elevation change here going from basically zero inches or the uh, baseline level of the layout up to a half inch in this section. Uh, this is actually the hidden staging that you're seeing here. That's going to be below the layout or hidden behind the scenery. And then uh, as it wraps around up here, Again, this uh, hidden staging will duck underneath the layout, and this section is actually going to be up. And this section will rise up to, uh, I think it's, yeah, three, three quarters of an inch here, and then it'll um, continue on that way. But uh, as you can see, I've got uh, cork road bed going down. Um, got some gap filler in here. I think this, call, this stuff was called, it was a can of, uh, I think they call it great stuff. Uh, so I'm basically expanding foam junk, filling uh, a couple of large gaps that I had between the layout sections. But uh, this section of cork roadbed is firmly fastened. Again, this is hidden staging as well. It'll be underneath or be underneath the scenery, underneath the layout behind the scenery. Um, so I got two hidden staging areas. Um, this section here. This section over here, um, this kind of wraps around here, uh, rise of a half an inch, and then there's a, a turnout here that'll bring the trains out uh, into this city area here, which is a lot of industrial switching to go on there. And then also for that hidden staging down on that end, uh, that wraps around here and will come out a turnout here, and this actually comes into uh, the yard. So that'll provide um, Operations for interchange and, and hidden staging as well. So As you can see I've started to transfer some of the, the track work um, Onto the layout. It's kind of a long process. I got a lot of turnout templates but My daughter actually cut those out for me and um, Got some curves trans transformed or transmitted to the uh, layout but uh, basically at this point I got a lot more uh, uh, bench work leveling to do. I'm going to raise these sections up and they'll get higher over there. And then over here we'll be at four inches. Uh, there will be a couple bridges here. There will be a bridge over here. But at any rate, it's uh, more cookie cutter stuff going on right now. And uh, laying cork roadbed if you want to kind of see what the cookie cutter stuff looks like from underneath I used uh, one by two and one by one cleats for risers you can see those under the layout um, that's what raises the, uh, the layout up so I also bonded together tonight two sections of plywood here for the hidden staging I uh, used a piece of sub road bed for that um, the length is uh, double the width, which is kind of a bench work best practice, so it's nice and sturdy. This is a 7 ply, 3 quarter inch plywood. You can see also the backdrop is up. That's been up for uh, probably a week or two. It needs to get painted, obviously, but lots of cork road bed. Got more up there. Got tons of track. Got a box full of about 35 turnouts to put on, so my work is uh, definitely cut out for me. Got a lot, lot going on here, so any questions, let me know. If you see any concerns, let me know. But uh, I'm gonna keep on keep on trucking. Thanks for watching. Bye.